I've got the base version of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 right here today. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to boot this smartphone both into fast boot mode as well as how to boot out of fast boot mode. Now, sometimes this is also referred to as bootloader mode. So if you see that somewhere online, then fast boot mode is likely what that is referring to. And this tutorial is not only going to work on the base model of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, but it's also going to work on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, and the 5G variant. It's likely also going to work on the 10S model as well. So there are actually a couple of ways we can boot into fast boot mode. The first that I'm going to show you is with the button combination. And to use the button combination, we first need to get the phone in a powered down state. So if you are able to boot into Android, that simply means bringing up the power menu and shutting down the phone. However, I know there are going to be some people who are currently experiencing a boot loop and they are not able to boot into Android. If that is your case, then you're going to simply need to time the button combination as close as possible to when the phone shuts down. So you're likely going to see the phone try to boot up and then a boot loop is going to force the phone to reboot. As soon as that phone reboots, that's when you're going to want to try the button combination. So once the device is in a powered off state, the screen is black. We can boot into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the power button as well as the volume down button. Both of those two buttons, we're going to press both of those down at the same time. And you saw we're going to continue holding those two buttons down for about five to ten seconds. During that time, the phone is going to vibrate as it boots up. You're going to see that Redmi splash screen, at least you should. And as long as you're holding those two buttons down during that boot cycle, it should immediately boot you over into this fast boot mode screen with the little Russian Xiaomi Mi doll. Once you see this screen, that means your Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 is in fast boot mode. This is when you would plug in a USB cable and issue some fast boot commands or connect it to uh, like the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool or the Xiaomi Mi PC Suite tool, something like that. So if you are currently in fast boot mode and you want to reboot out of fast boot mode and back into Android, as long as your phone is not in a boot loop, like I mentioned before, and even if it is in a boot loop, you can try this, but it's likely not going to work. In either case, we can boot out of fast boot mode by simply pressing and holding the power button for about 7 to 10 seconds. This is actually an Android shortcut, I guess, an Android feature that whenever you, since the phones are no longer able to easily pull out the battery to force the phone to reboot, we can simply just press and hold the power button no matter what state it's in. We could do that while it's booted into Android if we wanted to, and it would force the phone to restart. So as long as you are not in a boot loop, we can boot out of fast boot mode and right back into Android by forcing the device to reboot. There's actually another way we can boot this phone into fast boot mode, or again, otherwise known as bootloader mode. We can do that by issuing an ADB command. So, in order to do this second method, you need to have some things set up ahead of time. For instance, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. We're going to need to have a USB cable to connect our phone to our PC. And we're going to need to have USB debugging mode enabled on our phone. 
if you're not familiar with how to enable anything like developer mode or again USB debugging mode then be sure to check the video description as I'll be including links of separate videos to show you exactly how that's done. Once you have developer mode enabled we can go into the developer options page scroll down a little bit until we see the USB debugging option it should be a toggle that is disabled by default and when we enable it it's going to ask us to confirm if we are sure we want to enable and once that's done we can then connect the phone to our PC with a USB cable so now we have the phone connected to our PC with the USB cable you saw we enabled USB debugging mode so all I've done is I've opened up a command prompt in the same folder as our minimal ADB and fastboot tools are installed into. And in case your power button or volume down button is broken, we can still boot into fastboot mode by typing out the command ADB space reboot space bootloader. Remember, Fastboot is also known as Bootloader, and the ADB Reboot Fastboot is not a command that I'm familiar with. So after we type out that command, all we have to do is press Enter on the keyboard, and that should instantly cause our phone to reboot. As long as we do not get an error right here. And as you can see here, we have the phone still connected. The phone restarted on its own and it booted into Fastboot as soon as I pressed the enter button on the keyboard. Now again, if your power or volume down button is broken, specifically if your power button is broken in this instance, we're still able to boot out of Fastboot mode with a ADB and Fastboot command. So if that is the case for you, again, make sure your phone is still connected to the PC with that USB cable, and we can enter this command. So if you are wanting to manually reboot from fastboot mode back into Android from an ADB and fastboot prompt, the command you're gonna to wanna to type out is face fastboot space reboot, and press enter. Again, you should not get any type of error message. This time, in fact, you should be told that the phone is rebooting. And again, as soon as you press enter, your phone should restart. So that is how to boot the entire Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 series, including the Pro and the Pro Max variants, both into fastboot mode, as well as how to boot out of fastboot mode.